channel. Today I'm going to go over some simple tips that you can do to improve the quality of your spark footage. For starters, I've been using Adobe Premiere Elements 14 for all of my video editing to date. I'm just starting to play around with a trial version of Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud. It's a seven day free trial. As I know many of you are already using this software, I thought I should check it out myself. You'll need Premiere Pro to try some, but not all of the recommendations in this video. With trying to grow my channel, I wanted the best footage possible, so I've been looking into alternative video editing software, but I don't expect to learn this stuff overnight, so I'm providing you this information as I'm learning it myself. I think it will be quite interesting to look back at some of my YouTube videos a year from now and see where I've started and what I've learned. Uh, hopefully, I'll see improvement in the content and the quality of the video uploaded, but again, I'm learning as I go and just want to share some of what I'm learning with you at the same time. So let's get into it. The first tip, uh, using Adobe Premiere Pro, you'll want to slow down the footage. This will give you a more movie-like quality to your video. The DJI Spark shoots in 29.97 frames per second, roughly 30 frames per second. To slow it down when you bring it into Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud, you can select all of it, then right click on the footage, go to modify, then interpret footage, then change the assume this frame rate from the default value of 1 to 93.976. That slows down the footage just a little, giving it a more cinematic and smoother look. Second tip, the Sparks raw footage looks pretty good, but if you want it to pop just a little bit, you can do a little color grading or color correction. The easiest way to enhance the footage is to go under Lumetri Colors under your Effects panel, Curves, and just add a slight S curve to the graph. Here you can pull up or down on the blacks or shadows represented on the bottom of the curve, and your whites or highlights are represented at the top portion of the curve. Creating this S curve is a standard technique in color correcting. Additionally, you can adjust the saturation just a little to your liking but nothing, you don't want to do anything too drastic. The third tip, some of the best footage will be around what's called golden hour. This is a photography term referring to the period just shortly after sunrise or before sunset where the light is red and softer than when it's high in the sky. This is opposite of what's called blue hour, which is the period just before sunrise or just after sunset when the light is diffused and even. The fourth tip, if you work with a lot of the same footage and you're trying to have a consistent look or feel to your video footage, you can create or use what's called a LUT, it's L-U-T. A LUT stands for it's a lookup table and it's essentially a modifier between two images. You have an original foot, you have the original footage and a newly, dis and a newly displayed footage. There are a lot of professionals out there that will create custom LUTs for purchases as a means to create income. You can check those out as well. I know there are folks out there who sell LUTs specific to the DJI Spark. But just remember, a LUT is a starting point to have a similar look and feel to your footage, but it's still a starting point and often requires additional color grading to get the desired look to your own liking. That's it for today. I'm not cutting over from Premiere Elements 14 to Premiere Pro quite yet. I just wanted to bring you along for the ride as I continue my journey into uploading Spark and DJI uh, video footage to YouTube. I hope you found some of this information valuable. And to all the current subscribers, I do thank you. If you're not a current subscriber, I hope you'll think about subscribing. And if you're interested in the free trial version of Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud, I'll place a, uh, I place a useful link below that you can check out. you also find some items related to the gear I use or recommend below also. I hope you check those out as they help support the channel. And thank you once again. Until next time, happy flying.